Hi. Hi. So what are we learning today? What are we learning today? Yeah. Uh, we're going to stretch a little bit of our side body and our hamstrings and our hips. I look forward to it. Me too. Cool. Have fun. So just take a few minutes to find a comfortable seat and settle in and connect just to the rhythm of your natural breath. Noticing how as you inhale, your chest might gently lift skyward. And as you exhale, everything softens. You root into the earth. On your next inhale, just drop your right ear over towards your right shoulder. And exhaling, inhaling over to the other side, left ear, left shoulder. And then bringing the neck back through neutral, extend your right fingertips all the way out to the earth. And then inhale, left arm up and overhead, stretching through left side body. Root your left hip down. Turn your gaze under your left armpit. And take some big breath. As you inhale, gently changing sides, left fingertips to the earth, right arm up and overhead, right hip glued down, gaze under right armpit and breathe. Taking your time and moving with the flow of your breath as you inhale back to the first side, right fingertips to the earth, left arm overhead, and moving with the flow of breath changing sides. Taking in the deepest breaths that you can and lengthening through the longest stretch that you can. Take your time, flow with your natural breath. When that feels done, just give the shoulders a little wiggle, extend the arms out as if you're giving someone a great big bear hug. Cross your arms, left arm over top of right. See if you can clasp then also your hands. If this doesn't work, please just give yourself a big hug. And inhale, reaching the arms up and exhale round forward tuck the chin inhaling to lift release the arms big open hug and we'll do the right arm over top of the left again if the clasp of wrists is available please take it otherwise just hugging the arms hugging around your chest and inhale lift exhale to fold forward in this fold you should feel all the muscles through the upper back lengthening stretching open Inhale to open the arms and again, just give the shoulders and neck a couple rolls, wiggle around. And then gently bringing yourself up to a kneeling position. We're gonna extend the left leg out to the side, foot to the floor. Square your hips forward. Inhale, left arm to the sky and gently as you exhale, reach the right hand to the earth and twist gently to look under left arm. You should feel this stretch down the whole front and side of your left body. Take in lots of breath here. And gently as you inhale, keep your legs where they are. Bring left hand to left leg. Right arm up and over, stretching through right side body. Taking lots of breath. And gently release right hand back to the earth. Left arm up and over. And exhaling one more time. Left hand to left leg, right arm up and over. Gently transitioning through the other side. So kneeling on left leg, extending right leg. Take an inhale, right arm high. Exhale, left hand to the earth. Finding a lift up through the side of your right rib cage. Big breath. Stretching all through right side and front body. Exhale, bringing right hand to right leg, left arm up and over. Stretching now left side body. Taking a breath, moving with the rhythm of your own breath. Left hand to earth, right arm high. Stay as long as you need. And gently coming back through, kneeling. Turn around, find child's pose. And prepping for your first downward dog. Tuck your toes. Hands as wide as your mat, fingertips spread. Lift your hips up and gently press them back. Taking any movement that feels needed in your down dog, perhaps lifting high on the toes and then dropping heels to earth. 
And then very slowly, gently walk your feet towards the top of your mat. And when you get there, just gently hang your body forward, finding your forward fold. Take a big breath. And releasing the arms, bend the knees, inhale, rise everything tall. Exhale, hands down by your side. Inhale, arms rise, bend the knees, exhale, float forward, hands to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift your spine, and as you exhale, step your left leg back, finding a high lunge. When you're ready, inhale, both arms. Clasp the palms of your hand, extend palms to sky, and gently hinge, tilting towards the right. Pull left hip forward, right hip back. Inhale through center, exhale, hands to the earth and step forward into your fold. Bend the knees, inhale, rise both arms, and exhale, hands float to the earth. Halfway lift as you inhale, exhale, fold completely. Bend the knees, right leg steps back. Both arms inhale to rise, hands clasp, palms press to the sky, and gently tilting to the left. Pull the front of right hip forward, left hip back. Belly pulls in. Exhale, release hands to the earth. Step yourself back, high plank. From knees or toes, lower belly to the earth. Find cobra or up dog. And gently, slowly press yourself back through downward dog. Take your time. Take your time, little baby steps. Walk yourself all the way to the top of your mat. And when you get there, bend the knees gently, release the torso forward, tuck the chin, forward fold. Bend the knees, inhale, both arms rise. Take your right hand on left wrist, squeeze your legs and feet together. Bring the arms to the right, hips press to the left, stretching through the whole left side body. Inhale to rise, release the arms. And on your inhale, rise the arms. Left hand grabs right wrist. Legs squeeze together gently, arms to the left, hips press to the right. Press down through your feet. And inhale, rise, release the arms. Roll the shoulders, take some shakes, whatever your body needs right now. Root down through your feet. Inhale, right knee lifts and slowly, gently step back into a high lunge, arms rise. As you exhale, straighten through your right leg, working towards a pyramid pose. Fold forehead towards the shin. Pull your left hip back. It's okay if your left leg is not straight, that's fine. Find space to breathe. Inhale to lift the torso and step back into high plank. With knees up or down, lower onto belly, find low cobra or up dog. Gently, slowly press yourself back into downward facing dog. Once again, slowly walking your feet to the top of your mat. Take your time. When you arrive, bend the knees, fold forward, relax, chuck the chin. And release, bend the knees, arms rise. And release the arms, exhale. Inhale both arms, exhale to fold. Halfway lift the spine, inhale, and as you exhale, fold again, tuck the chin. Both arms rise, inhale. Hands come down through heart center, pause, take a breath, and release the arms. Rooting through right foot, inhale, left knee high, and slowly, gracefully step back into your high lunge. Arms rise. As you exhale, folding forward, working towards straightening right leg. Finding pyramid, second side. Lift the spine, inhale, pull your right hip back, exhale to fold. Continue working towards right hip coming back. Finding space to breathe. Inhale, lift the spine and exhale, press back into downward facing dog. Take any movement you need here. Some spinal flows, some bends, whatever is necessary. Inhale, right leg high. And exhale, step it forward into warrior two stance, turning your left foot 90 degrees. 
Inhale, both arms extend out. Flipping right palm to sky, exhale, left hand to left leg, right arm reaches high. On your next breath, right elbow to inside of right thigh, left arm up and overhead, lengthening side body. As you inhale, left hand finds left leg, right arm reaches high. And exhale, right elbow, right thigh, left arm over, side angle. As you inhale, coming up through center, turn your right foot forward, turn your left foot out, finding warrior two, left leg. Arms extend, gaze is over your left hand. Flip your left palm to the sky, inhale, right hand to the right leg, left arm high. Exhaling side angle, left elbow finds left knee or inner thigh, right arm reaches overhead. Rooting through your feet, strong and firm as you inhale, right arm to thigh, left arm to sky. And one more exhale, left elbow to your knee, right arm overhead. Big breath, fluid movements. And then inhaling to rise, turning both feet forward. Inhale, reach your arms high, clasp your palms, reach them up, chest is proud. Exhale, fold, standing wide-legged fold. Inhale to lengthen through your spine and exhale, fold just a little bit deeper. Pressing down firmly through your feet, both down into your mat and apart from each other. Take a breath and pivot around to your right side and step back into your downward facing dog. And coming down through child's pose. So your big toes touch, knees are wide, hips back to your heels, chest to the floor. Take a breath, extend your arms forward. Plant your forearms down and prep for downward dog, but from forearms, moving into dolphin pose. Knees can be as bent as you need. This is opening up your shoulders, stretching through hamstrings and calves. Bend your knees, straighten the legs. Do it a couple of times. And then eventually lowering your knees all the way to the earth. Inhale the arms, reach to the sky, open chest. And exhale, hands down. Flip around and find a seat, legs extended. So just remove the flesh from your sitting bones out from underneath and really do kick out through your heels. Inhale to lift the arms, lengthen spine and exhale, hinge from the hips, chest forward, reaching for your Legs, shin, feet, anywhere. Take a breath, lift spine, and exhale to fold. And take big full breaths in your forward fold here. And slowly, one vertebrae at a time, rolling up. Let's bring the right foot into left side, inner thigh. Left hand behind your hip, right arm, reach up. Exhale, extend it to the outside of your left leg. As you inhale, lengthen spine, and exhale to fold. Stretching through the side body and back of left leg. Take lots of breath here, and it's okay if your shin and chin do not touch. It's okay if your torso stays completely upright. Kicking out through your left heel, we're focusing on the little stretch through the back side of your leg. And inhale to lift your torso, and opening up the crease of your hips just a little bit, so widen the angle. Take your left arm inside of left thigh, towards the floor and inhale now your right arm up and over your head pulling your right hip back down towards the earth and taking your gaze if you can under your right armpit find space to breathe lift the side of your rib cage up towards the sky and when you're ready slowly gently inhale right hand to the earth and kickstand lift your hips reach your left arm over your head just to reverse out of that stretch beautiful exhale to sit your hips down change legs let's extend your right leg bring the left foot to the inside of right thigh and again remove any flesh from your sitting bones take your right hand behind your hip and inhale left arm high exhale to reach the outside of your right leg Take another inhale to lengthen your chest and exhale, fold forward. Pressing out through your right heel, pull your right hip back, lengthening the whole back side of the leg, side of your torso, finding big breath, lots of space to breathe in this fold.
as you slowly rise up again opening the hips just a little bit more take your right elbow right hand on the inside of your right thigh and inhale reach your left arm up towards the sky perhaps your arm falls over your head take a gaze under left armpit and pull your left hip back down towards the earth finding lots of room to breathe if at any point you feel like your breath is shortening, please ease out of the stretch, any stretch. Taking another full breath and slowly exhale, left hand to the earth. Reach up with the right arm, hips lift, chest to the sky, reverse from this fold. Beautiful, exhale, slowly lowering the hips back to the earth. Extend both legs out in front, give them a little bit of a shake. And then keep your left leg extended. Take your right foot up and over to the outside of left thigh. Using your left arm, hug your right knee in towards your chest. Sit up very tall. Right hand behind you like a kickstand. Don't worry so much about twisting your spine. Just pull the leg across the body. Pull your right leg across to the left. Keep your spine tall, belly engaged, and big breath. Pull your right hip back. Inhale to release change legs left leg comes up and over right right arm hugs left leg in left hand behind you like a kickstand as you pull your leg across to the right your gaze will come to the left again do not focus on twisting at your spine focus on pulling your leg across and then counter pulling your left hip back on your inhale, release the twist, release the gaze forward, both legs out in front. And slowly lower your body all the way to your mat. Tucking your knees into chest. Arms extended out like a T or like cactus. And then let both legs fall to the right. Turn your gaze to the left. And gently with an inhale, bring the knees back up through center. Extend the legs up and just straighten your spine if you feel like you've moved a little bit and then gently drop your legs, both of them to the left and turn your gaze to the right. And just try to release any tension you may have holding in the body here. Letting the legs be heavy, letting the hips be heavy and gentle twist, gentle stretch to the spine. Inhale, knees back up through center, plant your heels, re-straighten your spine preparing for a banana extend your left leg out to the side of your mat and then cross your right ankle over your left now with your left arm grab your right wrist and gently pull that arm towards the left creating a banana shape with your body relax as much as physically possible here keeping your shoulder and hips both planted to the earth gaze gently to the right stretching now right side of body gently release that Again, re-straightening the torso and the hips. Take your right leg all the way out to the right and cross left ankle over. Use your right hand to grab left wrist and pull the arms towards the right. Feeling the stretch now through the whole left side torso. Being as relaxed as possible in this banana pose. And when that feels complete, just coming back through center, tucking your knees into the chest, take any movements that feel good here, perhaps rocking side to side, maybe grabbing your feet, finding happy baby or supine cobbler, which is feet together, knees out like a butterfly. Perhaps stretching heels up to the sky, stretching hamstrings, whatever you need. And preparing for Shavasana. Legs extended completely, toes flopped out to the side.